called free radical halogenation, you're seeing a couple things that you'll always see. In the reactants, always an alkane. It has to be an alkane. It could be other things, but for our purposes, alkane. On the arrow, or around the arrow, you'll see either Br2 or Cl2. Above the arrow, and usually below the arrow, the word light, or H nu, representing light or energy. Okay? So, uh, once you see that, you know, it's free radical halogenation, you're going to put the bromine or chlorine, whatever it is, onto the molecule. First, you're looking for the tertiary spot. If you find one, you put it there. If not, put it on the secondary spot. If you can't find that, put it on the primary spot. Okay? So we look over here. All of these on the cyclohexane are primaries, or secondaries. So it doesn't matter where I put it. They're all equivalent locations. So you just put it wherever you feel like it. Okay? This, no matter where you put it, it's still one bromocyclohexane. On the next one, it matters more. There are four secondary spots, but there's two tertiary spots. Those two tertiary spots are equivalent, so it doesn't matter if you put it up here or down here. Uh, yes? How does the BR2 become like BR just after that? Oh, yeah. Um, you don't really know, but <laughs> the answer that you'll learn if you take organic is that, remember you're losing the H here? That H takes the second BR. So there's a series of elementary steps where the H gets removed and taken by a BR, and the second BR comes on here. So really, there's another product, HBR. The cool thing about OCHEM, you only care about the organic product. So you don't have to balance stuff, forget about that garbage. You just write the organic product you don't write. There could be several other pro products you don't care about. And that is usually a hint to you when you see something written over the arrow. That means don't balance me. Just write the organic important product. Okay? But yeah, there are other products here we could care less about. Um, they probably might go into that deal detail in your organic class, but for the most part, even in a regular organic, you're not going to balance anymore. You're not going to write all the products anymore. Just write the important one. Okay? Which we would say, in the question, would say write the major product is how it would be written. Okay, for the next one, oh, so this, if you wanted to name it, would be uh, one bromo, one four, dimethyl, cyclohexane. This one, where is it going to go? On the outside. In the middle or on the outside? Outside. On the outside, because there's no tertiary here. So there's only primaries available. Pick any one that you want and put it there. The main chain would be a propane. So it would be one chloro, two two, dimethyl, propane. To two this one, where do you want to put it? In what position you can number it? One, two, three. On the three position, yeah. That's the only tertiary. So you put it there. So this would be three chloro, three methyl uh, pentane. Three chloro, three methyl pentane. Is that helpful? Okay. So you're basically just looking for the tertiary, if not secondary, if not the primary. And your hint that it's this kind of problem, you've got an alkane reacting with Br2 or Cl2 and light. 